So one of the first things we see in the software after the splash screen is we can click on the manager, open the manager form, and we see a list of models, something like this. And the software is unique in that it will manage all of the models in the various projects and in the file folders on your hard drive. But it's good to know a few details of how this functions, and let's go through this. So when you first install and download the software, you should have about 700 models on that are displayed in this manager. And the first thing I want to do is perhaps search through some of these models to find things of relevance to me. So I, one of the easiest ways is you'll notice on each of these columns titled there's a little filter. And what we can do here is on the module, we can click the filter button and it shows us what types of models can be displayed. So for example, if I want to just see all the models that open in Plaxis Designer, I click on Plaxis Designer, click OK. And now I've got a list of models that are just available, or just models created with Plaxis Designer, which is very helpful. If I wanted to change that to see slope stability models, I can change this over, and now all of a sudden I'm seeing all the slope stability models that are available in the software. And so, very helpful. Um, I particularly, the Slopes 3D folder is very useful if we want to see three dimensional slope stability models. There's quite a wide variety of models. And then uh, down here, some of the slopes group one, two, and three have a wide variety of models in them. And on top of that, if I want to cancel any particular filter, I can just go to it and click clear filter. And likewise, maybe I want to search for a particular aspect of something in the software. There's a nice new feature implemented called the quick search under the models menu. You can click Quick Search and type in something that you want to search for, say, Duncan. And finds 13 models. It's currently, if you click on the settings, you'll see that it's searching in these columns for the word Duncan. One of the first things I might want to do is to manage my projects in the software. Well, I can click on the project menu and immediately there's an easy way to enter a new project. I can give it a name located on the hard drive through the browse button and uh, I have got a new project entered. Uh, I can also click a dialog to manage all projects which shows me all the projects I currently have and that I'm managing outside of the distribution projects. So these are my own projects. Again, you can't save distribution models. Um, you have to uh, basically create your own models to store them in on the hard drive in a different place than the distribution models are stored. Another nice feature is that if I want to find more recent models that I've just opened, I can click on recent models and it will display them and by the date they were last modified in the in the interface and it's very helpful for going back a little ways and finding models that I have entered and or updated. If I click on the models menu I can select uh, the various functionality that I can operate on any particular model. I can save them, resave them, open them. Uh, I can do quick searches as was mentioned and you can do model grouping which is a, an advanced feature we'll talk about at a later time. Uh, I can click on any new model. If I want to make a new model I just click there and it will guide me to putting it under a particular project name and which module I want to use, what system, what system of units I want to use, and then entering a model name. And then I've got a project set up. A lot of times I might want to import a model from another friend or colleague. And what I can do, there's a quick import button, which what you should do in the software is save the model to a, a generic folder, like a temporary folder and then locate it using the browse button and specify it to add it to a certain project um, and then click import and that will bring the model into that project it'll locate it on the hard drive as under the same location as the project specified. Additional help can also be realized by clicking on the help manual and going to Plexus LE manager help or some of the more detailed tutorial theory or verification manuals available in the software.